Welcome to the Arts in Medicine studio. I'm just walking around my house, missing coming to the clinic so bad. And I was wishing for something that would make me feel good, kind of funny, refreshing. So I'm looking around and look, Ishan, look what I found. I found our scroll. Wow. Our volunteer. Guess who this is? That looks like you with the blue it shoes. Is, it is with my blue shoes. And it's so long. And it just made me feel so happy that I was thinking about comics that are done at the studio. Some comics just represent a character like a superhero, Spider-Man or someone. Some comics come out of the daily life experience, but what it means, it means that there's a few pictures with some words that are supposed to make you laugh. So sometimes I feel it's a little sarcastic or it makes you laugh over some things that not always are laughable. So, I called Ishan and gave him the challenge. How about we do comics today? Um, I love comics. And I love when people draw comics at the studio because I love reading them. And, you know, sometimes they can be funny. Those are the kinds that I like to draw myself. Uh, but sometimes they can be serious or even sad. Um, comics are just another way to tell a story. And it's a very unique way to tell a story where you can draw the characters, you can put text, or sometimes you don't even have to put text over it. So um, I actually made a comic for you today. Thank you. Let me see. It's about this time at the studio, if you remember, when a lot of us sat in paint. And we got paint all over our clothes. And I made a comic about how that came to happen. So how I did that is first, I just thought about the story in my head and I wrote down all the points in the story that I wanted to draw. And then once I had my plan written down, I started to draw those different parts and I just made the outline first. Then I put in the little text and then I added the color. And that was how I made this comic. That is hilarious to sit on a chair that has paint on it. Well, at least the paint was purple. It was purple and then Raya sat on it, right? Right. It's so funny. Well, I did something similar because I was thinking about the times where people like us were not allowed to learn how to read and write and we had to look at pictures to be able to understand the story. And I was thinking how lucky we are that we could do both. So I first wrote the words and then I did my just little sketch. Would you like to see? Why do they call me Nita Pita? <laughs> it happened in 2008, when I came out of the elevator bank and the kids ran to me and said, you're late, Nitsa Pizza. And ever since then, funny or not funny, people think that my last name is Pizza. <laughs> And I have to tell you, Ishan, that moment was a life changer for me because until then, Nitsa Pizza was how I was bullied as a kid. Wow. When I saw the joy coming out of families and kids calling me that, I knew that this is a wonderful title to have. Absolutely, and it's, it's really fun. I mean, who doesn't like pizza? <laughs> so, I challenge you guys to do your own comics. Make it up, 
maybe even a little bit of serious funny and send it to me at aimnita at gmail.com. Come on, make my day. I could use some cheering up. Thank you for coming, Ishan. Thank you for having me. And I would love to read those comics too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.